Morrison, this is my wife Sarah. Um, we have recently been called to the mission field in Juarez, Mexico, and uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about how we got there. We were both saved at a young age. Um, we were raised in families that believed in the Lord and raised us to love the Lord. Um, so as we grew, we kind of started to struggle with not having a testimony that we felt was good enough. Um, you know, you hear people always talk about how they hit rock bottom, um, were addicted to drugs, were um, just really covered up in sin, and we never felt like uh, we really faced any of that, and so it, it was a struggle for us to share our testimony. It's not about the story surrounding our salvation, but it's about the story of Jesus Christ and His story, that God sent His Son to the world, and He died, and He rose again. And that is the story of our salvation. Shortly after we got married, um, we wanted to go on a mission trip together. Um, and I'm a carpenter, so I wanted to go on a construction-based mission trip. Well, she started uh, checking around, and she found this Missions Ministries uh, that serves or as Mexico. They build houses for the impoverished uh, colonials there. We went down for the first time in. 2013 and we thought it would be a one-time trip but it ended up changing our lives when we went down there we thought it would only be construction um, and it turns out the missions ministries also hosts a clinic in the community down there with me being a carpenter the construction fit perfectly and we got down there and found out that they also run a medical clinic well she's a nurse so that was just an amazing thing to see how God has prepared us for this ministry. There's been so many things in our lives that have lined us up and pointed us to this spot. And now we're taking the next step of faith. Our view of poverty was um, always a little bit different from reality. There's materialistic poverty, but then there's also like a spiritual poverty. And what we had always thought was materialistic, you know, we thought these people are poor, they need a house, we're going to go um, build them a house. When we got there, we realized, yes, they're materialistically poor, and we have, you know, the materials that we need, um, but spiritually they're so strong uh, because they have to rely on God um, for the health of their, themselves and their children, their families. Um, they have to have faith that, uh, you know, God's going to provide their next meal. So what we thought was going to be us changing their lives, they also changed our lives in the process. During one of our trips, Leo, uh, the main Mexican pastor who we think the world of, uh, just came up to me and said, you and Colton are going to be missionaries. And it just blew me away. He said, Susie, his wife, Susie and I, from the first time that we met you, we said they will be missionaries. And I just ran and told Colton I was, uh, so excited because coming from him, that was um, one of the biggest honors of things anybody ever said to me. We're going to be like a host family. We will host the short-term mission trips that come down. And we'll go, we'll meet with them, take them across the border and stay with them the whole time. Um, and then when there's not teams there, we'll be doing behind the scenes stuff, preparing for a team. And also what we're looking forward to is that it's going to leave a little bit of downtime when there's not teams there. And we're looking forward to um, the many ministry opportunities that we're going to have on our own. First and foremost, we want to ask for prayer. We would love for you to pray for us daily. That 
God's will would be done, and that we would be covered, and that we would be able to do whatever He has us to do. Secondly, we ask if anybody is able or willing to donate to Missions Ministries, it is tax deductible, and 100% of the money will go to us if it is designated for us in support, and that pretty much covers our living expenses and allows us to um, work with the Big Blue Boys 24-7 uh, instead of having to um, work a job and then do it part-time so we can focus our efforts in on what God is doing there.